Thank you, Amber. That's cool. Hello, Daniel. Hi, Leo. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Not too bad. What can I do for you today? Um, I just had um, a question I had for you. Um, I just recently uh, purchased um, a used uh, tablet PC, a laptop oh. pad tablet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it didn't come with a CD-ROM drive built in. Hmm, I have a tablet PC like that, too. That seems to be a common thing, I guess. I don't... I, you know, I... In the old days when you bought laptops or, 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 or tablets, you know, they didn't have, I guess, enough room for mm -hmm. an optical drive. But boy, it, t it seems to me that any laptop should really, I mean, it doesn't take up much space to have a CD burner in there. And just for backup purposes and software installation alone, yeah. you really ought to have one. So, mm -hmm. what, so you, what's your, you're trying to install software or? Well, actually, no, the problem is that um, the laptop was used and it had like a lot of, um, I guess, junk on the PC. And uh, I noticed the hard drive was uh, kind of acting up and it yeah. eventually just died on me. Yeah. So I have to. Uh, so I ended up purchasing a new um, laptop hard drive. But now I'm trying to reinstall Windows on it. I don't know actually how I can go about doing that. Yeah, that's tricky, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how do you install Windows on a computer without a CD-ROM? You know what I do on my tablet when I want to install software uh, is I I make an image mm -hmm. of the software. Use uh, a, 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 there are a number of programs that will do this, but I use a program to boot the mount the image and install. But you can't do that with a Windows install because you don't have any operating system at yeah, all. Yeah, exactly. There. <laughs> you need uh, an external CD drive, I guess. Actually, um, yeah, and I thought about doing that, but the uh, problem about that is um, my laptop. Uh, I don't think has the uh, capability of booting from a USB external. Oh CD yeah, ROM. and you'd have to boot from it to install Windows, wouldn't you? Yeah. Sean, what does he do? Is he stuck? I'm not really sure. I think you're stuck. Well, if you've got a, a tablet PC that is in a slight format that doesn't have any of those other, well, e even if it's a, one with a keyboard, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have a CD on board, there's got to be a way to get it on there. So it should, in some capacity, recognize an external you drive. You know, my HP is weird that way. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it, 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 uh, it basically uses some uh, special software to kind of be able to restore it to the original. I think that what they've done is they can put a hidden partition on there with, with, with Windows on it. Mm -hmm. But that's not going to help you because you've put a whole new drive in there. Plus, by the way, you want tablet Windows. You yeah, don't, exactly. I don't even want the regular Windows. You don't even Windows. want the regular want Windows. I the pen and everything. Yeah. Um, um, I did a little bit of searching, and I found that I can um, install Windows through an external CD-ROM if I use um, one of the external CD-ROMs that boot from the PC card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then they're then they're hard to find. Like I couldn't find them anywhere, like where I live, and on the internet, they're they're really expensive. So that's exactly right. I mean, the, the USB PC, uh, uh, the USB uh, CD drives are are cheap. Mm -hmm. But the PCMCIA card drives or bus drives that they'll boot from that mm -hmm. because they can boot off the card bus. But uh, yeah. but that's uh, I think that's the only way. Um, I had actually one other idea. Maybe you can let me know. If this oh, I work. know one way you could do it. Uh, uh, putting the just dropping the image on uh, on the CD ROM on the hard drive and installing from there. Yeah, but you need software that would see the image, right? Well, actually, I was thinking about like maybe hooking up my laptop hard drive to maybe my. Um, PC and then dropping like well, that's what I was going to suggest. You might be able to do a network install. Okay, that's one way. Most of these, if 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 it if it doesn't have a CD drive, mm -hmm. an optical drive, mm -hmm. they almost always in the BIOS and look and see will have the capability of booting from the network. Yeah, actually, I think it has that capability. Yeah. So then you could and the re, and that the reason is these are really corporate notebooks, mm -hmm. right? They're really designed for. They're not designed for home users. They're designed yeah. for somebody who's in a corporation where the IT department takes it, plugs in the Ethernet cable, and they have the appropriate image software on the network where they, they can just boot that and mm -hmm. install it. And they and then most likely they have a build that they'll zap on there. And that's really who this is intended for. Um, I have never done this in a home environment, so I'm not sure how you create uh, the, the the network image that you need to boot, but that's where mm -hmm. I would that's where I would go because you have a you have a desktop, right? Yeah. I have so a okay, so now you're gonna put. So what you want to do is put this blank laptop on. Do you know how to do this, Mike? Have you done this before, Mike? Actually, I purchased um, already. Um, you know those little adapters that can convert your laptop hard drive to a PC hard drive. Yeah. I purchased one of those already. So. Well, you could always do that. Mm -hmm. um, what I would do is uh, is. Uh, look and see that you know there's a, there are I'm just looking here on Google there are ways to do this and this is exactly what you want you want a Windows network install um, and you're going to be uh, you're going to you're going to be booting into the network 
Okay. So that's the key, is go into BIOS, boot from the network. You're going to have to put some special software on your PC that will allow you to do this. Okay. And then you'll be able to do it. And if you go to, I mean, I'm see it here on Google. If you just go to Google, Microsoft has the instructions. Mm -hmm. Will I be able to install the actual original software that came with my laptop? Or? Well, if you have that, do you have the disk? Yeah, I have the disk. You should be able, that's what you want. You should be able mm -hmm. to create the kind of image that you can use to do that, yes. Okay, perfect. There, Microsoft has a free program that creates these images. All right. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to create that image, boot that image, install that image, and you'll do it over the network. It'll be a little slower, but you know what? That's the how. Yeah. That's how God made. Well, not God. Bill Gates made that <laughs> laptop. It's designed right. to be. It's designed to be installed that way. Okay. All right, Daniel. All right. That's a just a goofy situation, but I'm. Yeah, I, I know. But that's you know, it's it's a corporate computer. It's not a human. It's not intended for humans. Mm -hmm.